easy, boy. Sir, you work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if he wanted results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy. Getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Good to see you. Hello there. Drop 
Bravo.
Man. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry, I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. You should be a little attention if you leave now. I thought you wanted to speak to Ed.
whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone's got to round those varmints up or gun them down. Sorry, mister. Up you get. Ugh, thank God for that. Come on! Got one for you alive here. Anytime, friend.
Slow down. Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. I'd go now if I was you. Excuse me. You Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir. I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man.
Dead man's gun and you're looking down the sights Your heart is worn and the seams are torn And they've given you a reason to fight And you're not gonna take what they've got to give and you're not gonna let them take your will to live because they've taken enough and you've given them all you can give and luck won't save them tonight they're giving you a reason
Thank you. 